Hi, I'm Greg with Science Museum Oklahoma. Have you ever wanted to go to space? I've always wanted to be an astronaut. I've wanted to know what it'd be like to sail around the Earth in microgravity. It'd be kind of fun. Now, one of the things that's a problem with getting to space is the vacuum. I've always wanted to do experiments with vacuums too, to know what would happen if I put marshmallows in a vacuum or water or soda, but vacuum pumps are kind of expensive, kind of hard to build. I was out in my garage and I found an old bicycle pump and I decided to try to see if I could make a vacuum pump out of it. So what I'm going to show you how to do is to build a vacuum pump that creates a vacuum so you can do space experiments at home with all stuff that you have around the house, like a bicycle pump, a valve stem, a gel jelly jar, some BBs, and a few tools. Now, this is kind of an advanced project, so you may need some help with this one. So, here's what you want to do first. You want to take the bicycle pump apart just to see how it works. Now, when you take it apart, remember, you've got to put all this back together again, so you don't want to lose any pieces. Set those aside carefully. Another thing you want to have on hand is some rags, because pumps are full of grease. So let's pull this thing out, lift this top, slide this piece right on out of there. Ah, now look at this. This is a piston with a check valve. Check valves are important. There are two of them in every pump. One of them is used to pull the air one way, and then the other one holds the air in position while you reposition this one and let air back through. So here's what happens. This guy's got a a uh, rubber o-ring that is kind of loose there. It moves back and forth. When I push down, this o-ring gets pushed up against this solid plastic ring and doesn't let any air by. But when I lift the other way, this o-ring gets pushed this direction and then air can squeeze through these two holes in this plastic ring so air goes one way and not the other. I'm going to take this piece off and then I'm going to turn it around. Now if your bicycle pump has a hole all the way through this, you can just rescrew it on. This one didn't. I had to go ahead and drill a hole part way through so that I could turn this guy around and screw this into position. So you screw this thing down. Now that gives me the check valve in the opposite direction. What this means though is my pump, when it works, I'm going to have to pull up to get the air to go out of this thing instead of push down. Now I said there were two check valves in a pump. The other one is down here at the bottom where this hose connects. So you see, I push air in here and then it comes out and then it gets stopped before it wiggles back through because it wouldn't do much good if you had a uh, no valve in there. So the air would just come in and back out and back in and back out. Oh, there's the end of my hose. There should be something like a little rubber sheet in here. Let's see if I can get it out. This little rubber piece bounces up and down. So when air goes one way, it squishes up, air gets around it. But then when air tries to go the other way, it pushes up against a wall with a tiny hole in it and seals it up. So that little piece is the second check valve. Now I'm just gonna take that one out entirely. Get rid of it. I'm gonna build a separate check valve right next to my vacuum pump. So once I take that piece out, if you put your pump back together, your pump will push air both directions. So let's see, put my hose back on. Screw this down tight. I'm going to put my piston back in with my reverse check valve. I don't want to damage that too much. Later on, I may have to put some Vaseline on this to make sure that there's enough grease there. And then I'm going to return my screw here so that everything holds together when I use this. So, here I've got my vacuum pump. It pulls air out. If you put your thumb over the end and pull up, it creates quite a bit of vacuum. But you also notice when you push the other way, a little bit of air escapes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a second check valve out of this. It's a valve stem for a car. Now it's a valve that usually lets air into the car, but I took the valve core out. So now it's just a empty pipe. I'm gonna take this and drop a BB inside like this. Now the reason I drop a BB inside is when you blow, the BB falls right up. But when I try to push air the other way, the BB won't go through there. It rests against a ring inside so air will not get back in this way. That means I can pull air this direction and not let it back in. 
I'm gonna stick this on my jar, just like that, and then hook it up to my bicycle pump. Then I can create a vacuum in this jar, which is kind of neat. Now, that's cool if it can only do something. Watch this. I'm gonna put this on there. I'm gonna seal this up, and I've got my balloon right here, and then when I start sucking air out of this, guess what's gonna to happen to the balloon? Let's see if I can hold everything here so you can see it. Voila! That's how you make a vacuum pump at home. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check sciencemuseumok.org. That's sciencemuseumok.org every day for new science content. See what you can find there. If you do build a vacuum pump, be sure to send in pictures of anything cool that you make expand or contract or explode inside your vacuum pump. Remember, have fun with science. Enjoy doing some at home. Thanks. Bye-bye.